Hello everybody. <coughs> Let's learn Arabic. Arabic is our beautiful language. This is the letter lamb. Lamb. How to write the letter lamb? We start above the base line and we make a straight line like this and then we make half of a circle. This is the letter lamb. Lamb. This is the letter lamb. We, to write the letter lamb, we go above the base line and we make a straight line like this and then half of a circle. This is the letter lamb. We, I want you to recognize the letter lamb. This is the letter lamb in the beginning of the word. And this is the letter lamb in the middle of the word. And this is the letter lamb at the end of the word. So at the end of the word, we make this straight line and this half of a circle. But in the mid and the beginning of the word, we don't make this half of a circle because we are going to join other letters. So this is the letter lamb in the beginning of the word. This is lemon means lemon. And this is the letter uh, lamb in the middle of the word. This is solemn means ladder. And this is the letter lamb at the end of the word. Basol. Basol means onion. So this is lamb in the beginning of the word. This is lisan means tongue. And this is the letter lamb in the middle of the word. Alam means flag. And this is the letter lamb at the end of the word. Gamel means camel. So this is the letter lamb. I just want you to recognize the letter lamb. And then after that we will take many words with the letter lamb. So what is the articulation point of the letter lamb? <coughs> means how to pronounce the letter lamb. The letter lamb is pronounced or articulated when the terminal part of the tongue or the terminal part of its edges and the tip of the tongue touches the roots of the upper teeth and the hard palate. So when this area, if this is your tongue and this is the edge of your tongue, the terminal part of the edge of your tongue together with the tip of your tongue touch this zone. This is the root of the upper teeth and the hard palate. So when the tip of your tongue and the terminal edges touch this yellow zone. So if this is your tongue, this is the tip of your tongue, and this is the terminal part of the edges of your tongue. This is the yellow area. When this area touch this zone. So make sure that the tip of your tongue and the terminal part of the edges of your tongue touch this zone behind the teeth. And to know the articulation point of a letter, we have to put Hamza before the letter. <coughs> so, excuse me. So we have to put Hamza before the letter lamb. It will be Al. Al. So try it right now. Say Al. Al. To know the articulation point of the letter. Say Al. Al. You will find that the tip of your, of your tongue and the terminal part of the edges of your tongue touch the root of the uh, upper teeth and the hard palate. Al. 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 Now what is the characters of the letter lamb? <clears throat> the characters of the letter lamb. So is it a, a letter with hams, like seen, for example, or is it a jahr? So first it is jahr. Jahr means it is apparent. It, is, it has no hams in it. Al, al, al. No hams. It is not like seen or sad. This is not, this is not, it is not like seen or sad. Sad has uh, whispering and has also hams. No, it is not that. It is jahr. Al, al. So, <clears throat> when we have letter of jahr, jahr means it is apparent and it means also discontinuation of threads when pronouncing the letter. So, al jahr means if you say al, al, there is no continuation of breath. The letter pronounced without a running of breath. But if you say seen, seen, for example, you say seen, there is continuation of your breath. But if you say al, al, there is no continuation. If you say as, as, there is continuation of your breath. If you say al, there is no continuation. There is no running breath. So that is why we say jahr. So jahr uh, literally means it is apparent, and technically means there is discontinuation of breath when you pronounce that letter. We will talk about this later on. 
But first of all, you have to know that it is jahra, and there is it is tawassut. Tawassut means it is midway between being strong or soft. It is not a soft letter like seen. Seen is soft, but this is not soft, and it is not very strong. It is not strong. A strong letter like a, a. This is strong. B strong. T strong. But this is not strong and it is not soft. It is midway between being strong and soft. We say this tawassut. When when the letter is soft, like seen, seen, you say it is soft. But you can't you can't say as as this is seen seen as. It is very soft, but when you can't say al al, no, it is al al. So it is not that soft. So it is midway between being uh, strong and soft. Midway between strength and softness. We call this tawassut. So we have to know whether it is heavy letter or delicate letter. Delicate means stifal, means there is no elevation of the tongue. And heavy means elevation of the tongue, and it is heavy. So, a letter lam is delicate letter. It is delicate, except in the word Allah. So, the letter lam is a delicate letter in all Arabic language and in the whole Quran, except in the name of God, except in the name of the word Allah. When we say Allah, there is elevation of the tongue. And here the uh, the lamb is heavy. Allah, the lamb is heavy, and there is two lamb, and the both of them are heavy. In the word Allah, you say is, this is shadda means it is two lamb. Allah, Allah, it is heavy. Here is the lamb is heavy. We say who Allah. So when we say Allah, when we make the lamb heavy. When the word Allah is preceded by fatha or or dhamma, so when we say huwa Allah, huwa means huwa this uh, this well this well with fatha. So the word Allah, the lamb is heavy. Huwa Allah, huwa Allah. So kul huwa Allahu, kul huwa Allahu ahad. So this well, this. Allah is preceded by fatha. So when it is preceded by fatha or dhamma, the lamb is heavy. The lamb of the word Allah is heavy. Only in the word Allah. So we say here in the Holy Quran, this is Surah At-Tawbah, La mal'ja'a mal min Allah illa ilayhi. La mal'ja'a min Allah. So there is fatha before the word Allah. So when there is fatha or dhamma before the word Allah, we say Allah with the word with the lamb heavy. But when there is kasra before the word Allah, here is also fatha before the word Allah. Nasrum min Allah wa fathun qarib. So there is fatha also before the word Allah. But when there is kasra before the word Allah, we don't say Allah. We may the lamb returns. Delicate again to its character, like Bismillah, Bismillah. We say Bismillah. See, Bismi. So there is kasra before the word Allah. So it it will be Bismillah, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Bismillah, Bismillah. So we say here is the lamb is delicate. Bismillah. The lamb is delicate before, before, because there is kasra before the word Allah.